In this video, you will learn how to go from this to this with Python. Before we can start, we need to make sure that we tick off a couple of prerequisites. The first one is that you have Python installed on your computer. You can install Python from the link in the description. It also helps if you already have some knowledge from Python or some programming knowledge. The second prerequisite is that you have access to Microsoft Excel. We will use this to do some basic data manipulation. The last prerequisite is that we need to install SJ Visualizer. SJ Visualizer is a Python library that I developed and published open source. This library will do the heavy lifting for us. You can download this library from the GitHub link in the description. Once downloaded, we can install this with the Python package manager pip. A neat little trick to quickly open the command prompt in your current directory is to type cmd in the address bar. To now install the package, we just need to type pip install sj. You can use tab to autocomplete this command. To check that it has been installed successfully, you can type pip list. The necessary libraries should appear in the list. And now we are ready to start. In this tutorial, we are going to use a dataset that contains how many nuclear warheads each country has. On my website, you will find a repository of datasets that I have used in my visualizations in the past. Now you can download this Excel file and move it to your working directory. Now we are ready to code. Let's create a new .py file. This is the file we're going to use to write our code in. I'm using PyCharm as my editor, but you can do the same with your preferred editor. We need to do a couple of things to set up this file. Firstly, we want to import the data handler from the module we have just installed. The data handler will help us import the data from the Excel file and interpolate the values for each frame of the video. It's good practice to list all the variables you might want to change in the future at the top of the file. And let's stick the Excel file in a separate folder. Because this module is going to interpolate the values for each frame of the animation, it needs to know how many frames the visualization will have. For this we need two things, the FPS and the length of the visualization. Now that we've prepared our data, we can create the canvas for our animation. The canvas is an object to which we can add plots, images or texts. But we need to make sure we import the canvas from the SJ Visualizer module. Now we are ready to add our racing bar chart. For this we need to import bar rays from the SJ Visualizer module. This object will need our data frame that contains the data and the canvas we want to draw it to. We also need to add the plot to our canvas object. 
the last thing left to do is to start the animation. When we now run the code, it will start playing in full screen. And there you have it. In a handful of lines of code, you can generate a basic animated bar race with Python. This animation is very bare bones at the moment. Let's spice things up. In the rest of the video, we're going to add a title, a year indication, Add a logo, change the colors and add flag icons for each of the countries. It is super simple to add a title. You just add a title to the canvas object. For that we just need to set the text and choose the color. In this example we want to set the title to number of nuclear warheads by country and the color to black. We can also set a subtitle to add additional information. In this example, we add the time span for the animation. The next step is to add the time indication. This can also be done from the canvas object. For this, we need to add the data frame and indicate if we want to show just the year or also the month or day. For this example, only the year is fine. Adding a logo is also super simple. I have my PyChart Pirate logo here that we want to add to the animation. Again, we can add the logo from the canvas object by providing the file name. At the moment, only PNG images are supported. I'm, I hope to add other image formats in the future. The next step is to set the colors for each of the bars. We can set the colors in a separate JSON file. In this JSON file, you can set the RGB values for each of the categories of your data. It can be quite time consuming to set this up, so for this reason I have already set this up for you. You can find an example JSON file in the example GitHub repository uh, in the link below. The next step is to tell the script where the colors can be found. For this we first need to import the JSON module, after which we can read the file and pass the contents to the bar chart object. When we now play the animation, we get all the bars in the national colors for each of the countries. The last basic step is to add the flag icons to the animation. You might have noticed that the script has created a new folder for us called Assets. We will use this folder to store the flag icons. When you dro drop PNG images in this folder, the script will automatically add them to the respective bars as long as the name of the image and the column header in the data file match. Again, you can find the flags from this video in the example GitHub link below. Before we continue with the finishing touches, for the single person still watching, if you like this tutorial and the free open source software that I've published, consider buying me a coffee. It would make my day. To make the animation a bit more appealing, we can add additional images. First, we need to import the static image component from SJ Visualizer. This static image works the same as any other item in the module. If 
For this, we need to provide the canvas, the image name, the position and the size. Oops, we also need to add the image to the canvas. There it is. It looks like it is stuck in a bit of an awkward location. To fix this, we just need to tweak the X pos and Y pos values. These two parameters are the location we want to draw the picture in pixels. One thing to remember, that in computers, the top left pixel is usually the origin. That looks about right. We now want to better fill the screen with our visualization. To do so, we can increase the size of the visualization. The bar raise object takes two arguments, the width and the height, to change the size. One thing to note when setting the size, the visualization is that the result will now depend on your screen size. The example I'm showing here is for 1440p. Now the plot is off center. To resolve this, we need to shift the visualization. To do this, we can set the X position and the Y position of the bar rays. That looks good. The last tip I have for you is that the module uses Tkinter in the background. Tkinter is the out-of-the-box GUI library for Python. In this example, I use it to draw a line as a visual element. And there you have it. Please tag me on Instagram if you use this and make an original visualization. I'm keen to see what you guys will make.